Hey everyone, John here. Today I want to talk about Helium, HNT. Taking a quick look on the 4-hour chart, we are having some trouble getting back up above the 200 moving average. Now taking a quick look at this trend line from this pivot high to pivot low, I'm just going to duplicate this trend line. If we're going to have a deeper pullback, Helium could potentially come back down to around $7.80, which is also very possible. We had a series of nice higher highs and higher lows, but over here we had trouble getting back up above this new recent, recent high, which is around 21 and it's been kind of trading sideways to down. Taking a quick look at the website, okay, so they're powered by the Helium blockchain. The People's Network represents a paradigm shift for decentralized wireless infrastructure. What is this all about? From my research, this is all about the Internet of Things, from connecting devices to human value. I just recently received a washer, and this washer also has a Wi-Fi option. So the Helium miner could have that possibility where it connects and talks to my washer, or the refrigerator, a lot of these devices, appliances that we're seeing now, it's going to have Wi-Fi capability. It's going to take data from maybe a dog tracking device, maybe an RFID tracking, but everything across the board, possibly your phone. You just don't know, but I just wanted to share this with you, letting you know that the data, the micro expressions that you're doing every single day, the items in your fridge, okay, even food that you purchase, is going to communicate with the devices, and all that data is going to be rolled up into analytics. The person that is behind speaking, the spokesperson, is Frank Mong, and they recently had an interview with 5G and also having. I didn't watch this interview yet, but I just want you to know that he's very active. He's always constantly doing interviews, sharing with the world what healing is doing. Now, they mine through these uh, plug and play miners. They're very easy to set up. You guys can find a lot of YouTube videos regarding this, and the demand for these helium miners is skyrocket. Okay, it's hard to get these devices like to buy them and people they would pay through the nose if they go on ebay it was just outrageous prices they have indoor options and also outdoor options let's take a quick look at the coverage map you can see uh, we got about let's say 40,000 40,000 of these miners and they're covered everywhere a lot of places in the u.s and you can dive in and see which states and from my data and research you got to have other helium miners around you to start really making some good money with this. If you're out in the middle of nowhere by yourself, you're not going to be able to get that much money. And this basically about the foot traffic. Okay, you may be picking up devices all around, you know, people's cell phone signals, different things like that. So taking a quick look, let's just say if I jump into Seattle, okay, we're here in Capitol Hill, you know, and let's take a quick look at a miner, right? So for this particular miner for the last 30 days, you got about 113 miners. So if I just do my calculator, okay, and then 113, helium is right about $15 per token. So this guy is making about 1,700 passive, uh, provided that, you know, HNT stays within that price range. It doesn't just drop, okay? And this is just another form of passive income, and you should be able to get your money back with helium if you are in an area where it has high coverage, right? Let's take a quick look. That's some search volume. Definitely a lot of search volume in the United States. People are looking to see if they can participate, you know, in mining. Just have this plug and play. They don't have to buy a bunch of graphic cards. They don't have to deal with the BIOS. As I say, I just wanted to have this thing set up, plug and play, set up to my phone, ready to go. Now, if you're just trading this, you can use Binance. Binance, it can allow you to exchange USDT to HNT. Okay, so something you can consider. You can also take a quick look at their Helium Twitter. And they're pretty active. And okay, you can see they've been shipping these out. There's just so many of these people that want to have that demand, right? And you can, they also have other interactive maps, which is a little bit more comprehensive. And it's taking place over in Lisbon, Portugal. Now I'm going to talk about liability concerns. There's going to be increased EMF, electromagnetic frequencies, you know, when you're dealing with these new devices, not just with 5G, but also these plug and play miners coming on board. Now people are just... They just don't know. People don't know the liability concerns when it comes to your personal health. So you guys can take a quick look. If you just go to Face Central's EMF, there are some blogs and articles, right? You guys can read about these things and what it's all about. Different items you can say. You can even get a meter. Just how much uh, EMF is surrounding my house right now, right? And you guys can take some of these looks at these devices and things that you can do to protect yourself, okay? And taking a quick look, this is another blog that I've written. You guys can also take a quick look at these products. None of this medical advice. You, know, you got to do what you got to do, but also learn, okay? And learn there are things that we should be learning when it comes to these devices. Just like when you're dealing with these devices, 
Okay, this guy knows where you are. <laughs> this is a very uh, these devices people know pretty much where you are. So you gotta have some security for the house too. That's another liability concerns, right? So this guy over in Belltown, right? So people they can scroll in, they can just kind of look around, right? They can look on the map and say, okay, this guy, maybe somebody's gonna come over to your house and jack your miner. I'm just telling you straight up, right? Uh, you gotta always be watching on your back. And take a quick look at this book. It's called The Invisible Rainbow, A History of Electricity and Life, okay? And over the last 220 years, society's evolved a universal belief that electricity is safe for humanity and the planet, right? So I'm always looking for this confirming evidence. I'm looking for people that have done the work, you know, through science, and they just wanna give you a different perspective of what we are stepping ourselves into, right? When we are increasing the electromagnetic frequencies around our surroundings. So that's what I have for HNT. I will wait for a deeper pullback. None of this financial advice uh, before. I like to see if it bottoms out. Also, the halving is also taking place. I don't know when. You guys want to do further research with that as well. Thanks so much for watching this. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Subscribe to this YouTube